Hello and thanks for joining me. You know, it's been a while since I've uploaded a tag. And so the small booktuber tag has been going around. I've seen a few responses to it. And uh, most recently on the channel Richardson Reads. And I thought, you know what? It sounds like kind of a fun tag to do. And since I uh, meet the qualifications of a small booktuber, um, I think the definition is less than a thousand subscribers. I thought, you know, I'll just, um, I'll go ahead and, and, um, and, and do my responses as well. So yeah, small booktuber tag, um, I guess means less than a thousand subscribers. Let's just jump into, um, into the items. So number one, introduce yourself. So my channel's name is Earnestly Esten. Esten is actually my middle name. Uh, when I was choosing the, the name for my channel, I really was playing with the uh, the importance of being earnest, you know, the play by Oscar Wilde. And uh, I really wanted to get that sort of the earnest uh, or something about earnest uh, the importance of being earnest or whatever. And eventually I thought, earnestly, yes, you know, has a nice alliteration to it. And so I'll go with that. Out in the wider world, most people call me by my first name, which is William, or shorten that to Bill or Will. Um, but in the BookTube world, um, I'm most often known as Esten, and really any of those are okay by me. Um, I live in the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area. I'm originally from uh, Arkansas and lived there quite a number of years. I have lived around in other places um, in the U.S. over the years. Uh, I moved uh, from uh, here in D.C. I moved from New York City. Prior to that, I lived in Arkansas. I lived in, I've lived in Florida, Texas, and even in West Kansas for a brief period of time, so in New Orleans. Uh, so I've lived, I've lived in, in a number of places across the U.S. Um, I work in the pharmaceutical uh, biotechnology early uh, research industry, and um, I work in early development um, oncology, sort of working in the development of the next generation of treatments for various kinds of cancer. I'm not a scientist, though. I do have my little cog in the wheel of development that I do. Um, I find the work, um, I, I really enjoy the work. I've done this uh, over 20 years now, and um, you know, to me, it's very rewarding, and um, so and, and it's always changing. So it you know keeps me interested. I get bored very easily, which I'll talk about more here in a bit. Um, number two, how long have you been on BookTube? So I've been on BookTube a little over two years. I think I started the very early September of 2015. Um, so a little over two years now, and it's been a great experience. You know, so far I decided to start this channel after uh, discovering uh, BookTube. Um, didn't know much about it at first, and uh, just sort of um, started it up that way, and uh, decided to put you know to just go ahead and and add my voice to it. So um, started about two years ago. Well, number three, what types of videos do you make? So I typically I mostly make chat videos. I make book chat videos. I don't call my videos reviews because I don't feel like I'm reviewing the book um, in a sense of a review meaning a critique. I am more uh, chatting about a book as you know as if I were chatting to a friend about a book, the most recent book that I finished and so mine chats are fairly informal um, my, really my experience with with whatever book. That's what I mostly my my uh, videos are mostly book chat videos because those are the things I really love making. Um, I do some opera chats as well well um because i'm a i'm a huge opera fan and so i'm discovering that and learning about opera i've been doing uh sort of in a in a discovery mode of opera for the last couple of years so when i get a chance to go and see a live opera i do chats on those uh as well so do those and then i occasionally also do tags and things like this one so um i guess those are kind of the main things that i do on my channel number um four what do you love about book two well, I love BookTube because, you know, my I, before I discovered BookTube, I think I had, I was sort of insulated in my own book-ish world, you know, my own book experience, meaning my own reading style, my own, you know, genres and um, sort of my own routines and things like that. But once I discovered BookTube, um, you know, nobody reads even the same book the same. And so I could actually see... Uh, a review or a chat on a book that I've read where the person has a different take on it, had a different experience with it. Um, you know, maybe something that I had passed over really was meaningful to them or something like that. You know, I, so that's really broadened my um, understanding of, of books. And then other, uh, you know, other people's experience with reading and other reading styles and other reading uh, sort of priorities. Um, 
I've learned a lot about that. I've learned a lot about, you know, people focus on different things, different aspects of books and book industry, books as objects, books as, um, you know, collections, um, also writers, uh, people who write or people who understand uh, writing and bring that to their videos, uh, sort of more of a review critique kind of thing, uh, discussions about writing. Um, there are people uh, I watch who um, just, you know, the, the multitude and diversity of experience with books and what people are reading and how they're reading it. And just um, that to me is just, it's been very enriching uh, to me and it's really influenced my reading um, and my enjoyment of reading uh, really, really enormously. So that's what I love, I think, most about BookTube. It's just that it just is able, it, I'm able to expand my book experience uh, through, you know, the experience of others. So number six, what is your favorite video? Um, oh, no, wait, number five, um, what, what types of books do you read? So I'm a very much a generalist, so I, I get bored easily, like I mentioned earlier. And so I am not really well read, I don't think, in anything or in any genre. I am I read across multiple genres, and um, that's not to say that I think that's preferable. I would actually like to become more focused on... Um, maybe reading an author or reading, you know, a genre, but I am very much a generalist and um, I don't seem to, that's not seem, that doesn't seem to be how, how I operate. What I'm trying to do um, is I'm trying, it's taking me a while now, but through my priority reading, I'm actually able to, to get some of this done. I'm chipping away, for example, at the works of Herman Hesse and Haruki Murakami, um, among others. So, you know, I, I, um, through this sort of focus, trying to, trying to read more in, in an author, I think my history has been, I would read one, uh, maybe one, book from maybe uh, Thomas, Pen you know, Pinchon, uh, and then not read another one. Um, read one of, of any kind of given thing and then move on to something else. So I've been very general, and um, that's just how I read. Uh, but types of books, I read nonfiction, I read fiction, I read all types of genre fiction, or I'm interested in reading all types of genre fiction for my nonfiction. Um, I do cross lots of uh, topics there as well. And just, I think I'm a reading generalist. Uh, generally, generally, generally speaking, I'm a generalist. Um, all right, number six, what is your favorite video that you've made? So my favorite video, um, I think my favorite video, my favorite video, my favorite book chat video was the Lincoln and the Bardo book chat because I went down to Oak Hill Cemetery in Georgetown and not only had I connected to that book on, on multiple levels, but then I went to the location where Oak Hill Cemetery in Georgetown where a lot of the action of that book uh, takes place and um, that connected me then really to the place and I filmed the uh, that chat video in the park right next to the Oak Hill Cemetery and that was just so much fun to do um, so I'm gonna I, I hope to be able to do that when the weather uh, gets nice again a little bit I can go in and maybe do some videos uh, elsewhere on location or outside in different places so that's that's uh, that's coming up hopefully when the weather clears up in the spring and summer uh, but for tag videos and other types of videos my favorite tag video that I've done, I think is the Commonplace book tag. Um, that was just such a fun, a fun tag to do, which um, uh, it was just about, you know, the Commonplace book, um, you know, the book reading kind of journal, reading not journal, but really notebook and notes. And um, so I, um, I really enjoyed making that. I'll put links down below to, to the, both of those uh, videos. So number seven, tag at least four small books. Booktube channels are every small channel you can think of. So I chose 10. Uh, these are just 10 small booktubers. I looked at their subscribers to make sure they were uh, below 1,000 still. Um, and I just pulled out 10. These are not ranked and they're not in any kind of order. And I'm probably leaving some out, but I just have a nice round number of 10 I thought were, um, you know, nice round number. So number one, uh, Rachel Morrow. I'm actually going to a book signing event. Uh, so I think I will actually meet her. Uh, later today um, and then pick the book prize addict I just uh, met up with her yesterday for a late lunch so I'm gonna have a video about both of these meetups uh, coming up very soon but peg the book prize addict um, a night owls book reviews and other things that's a new, this is a new booktuber but relatively new and uh, I've been enjoying uh, listening to his videos uh, as well uh, number four Lukashis books been around for a while uh, I've, I've been enjoying for a while 
Richardson Reads, again, uh, another uh, great booktuber that I've, I've, I've watched quite a bit over the last uh, few months or several months. Now, uh, CR Flames fans, another uh, video, another booktuber that I, I watch uh, most of her content, if I can. Uh, Paper Bird, uh, very entertaining videos. Lycan Books uh, brings a, a book, a lot of books that I, I I don't see you know books that I haven't heard of or books that I'm not familiar with, so I like her channel very much. Eight, the medieval, the medieval reader number uh, nine. I mean, uh, the medieval reader um, uh, reads things that I don't necessarily see elsewhere as well, so I enjoy her channel. And then finally, for number ten, I was going to mention Between Books. Between Books has not made a video in a while, but Between Books, I'm waiting on your you to start making videos again. This was one of the channels that I. Um, that I discovered early on in, when I was first uh, sort of learning about BookTube and Between Books did uh, nonfiction and I had realized through through his channel I had realized I had gotten away from reading uh, nonfiction and I got back into reading um, a significant amount of nonfiction uh, really because of his channel I think and he stopped making videos maybe a year ago or more uh, so but I'm waiting on you to start videos again between books if you see this video so those are my 10 uh, shout outs that I'll do for small booktubers that I enjoy very much so that is the end of the tag I did mention that I'm going to be meeting Rachel Morrow a little later on at a book signing and Peg the book price addict is also supposed to be at that book signing so it will be a little mini uh, booktuber convention and I will have a video of that um, experience coming up in the very near future. So stay tuned for that. Until then, take care. Bye.